He enjoys macaroni and cheese. She enjoys marshmallows. She lets him stroke her hair for hours. He enjoys that too. They met in math class where she used to cheat off of his tests. She loves chocolate milk almost as much as he does. They seem a perfect match. Some use the word lazy, some use the word relaxed, but most days she stays in her pajamas all day long. Her kitten has grown accustomed to her lifestyle. He's a little lazy too. They spend a lot of time sitting on the couch together, doing nothing. She usually sits in the bathtub for too long and gets sad when the water becomes cold. One of her favorite sights is to look through her closed eyelids toward the sun. It makes her feel warm and close to something that she'll never really be near. Her afternoon ritual is to take her picture books with her to bed. Rarely does she flip through them, but she always naps with them. It's never quite clear to her friends and family whether she never leaves the house because she's in her pajamas, or if she stays in her pajamas so she never has to leave the house. Because she stays at home alone all the time, everyone assumes that she's a dreamer. And everyone's right. To her, her thoughts are distant and complicated, and she wouldn't know how to share them with other people. So, she daydreams. He's a very hard worker, and he's very good at what he does. But once in a while, he gets distracted thinking about her. He keeps a picture of her in his pocket all the time, and he pulls it out to look at it sometimes. He's certain that other people will understand when he shows them how beautiful she is, but they just don't, especially the boss. His favorite days at work are when he gets to paint things yellow because it reminds him of his favorite food, macaroni and cheese. And the best part is, when the daydream is over, he gets to go home to the real thing. He didn't mind working hard because when he came home everything was just right. He had found his perfect girl, she had found her perfect boy, and there seemed to be no end to the macaroni and cheese and marshmallows. There was just one little thing she didn't like. It seems that even in the happiest of times, there's always one little thing. So she thought she would ask politely. Could you not do that anymore? Okay. 
And it was as easy as that. Never done that before. Well, did you like it? He loved it. One day while he was at work, the girl became bored. Bored with her house, bored with her kitten, even bored with marshmallows, and certainly bored of wearing her pajamas. So she decided to buy herself a dress. She hadn't been out shopping in a very long time, so she went to the fanciest dress store in town. The people there didn't treat her very nice. They treated her like she didn't belong. Until she showed them that she'd been saving up a little bit of money. Then they treated her just right. That same day, the boy got a promotion at work, so he decided to surprise her with a marshmallow latte. Where'd you get the money for that dress? He listened while she cried and cried. He listened while she explained why she was tired all day, why she seemed lazy. He decided to just ask politely. Could you not do that anymore? And she answered happily. Yeah. Okay. And it was as easy as that. 